All right, Rocket Willie packing up everything I own, throwing it in the car, hitting the road. This is the annual trip out to uh, Downsville, New York, in the Catskills, or up to, I should say, uh, heading north uh, into the Catskills. Here I am entering Peaceful Valley Campground for the annual uh, 2023 NEAT Fair. It stands for the Northeast Aircraft Technology uh, Fair. Here you can see I brought the Miata in a tent, traveled light this year, and uh, parked over by the other tent campers. Uh, just staying one night, so wanted to just travel light. And actually uh, calculated I saved $65 in gas taking the, uh, the Miata over the Jeep. So here's the indoor event that happens Friday nights. Uh, really cool. Not a huge turnout, but uh, some really cool planes. This one had counter-rotating props, which allowed it to fly perfectly straight. No torque effects from the, the prop. Uh, just really neat to watch this thing. I have a similar plane, but it doesn't fly quite as nice because it doesn't have the counter-rotating props. And this guy's a uh, well-known within the hobby of indoor miniature aircraft. Here he is with a it's a biplane twin twin motor, so two props and two wings. Flew really good as well. He's actually a professional airline pilot. But uh, he has so many of these little indoor planes, I don't know how he has time to do both. This one was uh, same guy, uh, CO2 powered plane, so a little compressed air tank. Just have to fly it until the, the tank runs out of air, which it is right here. So after the gym, headed back to the campground and uh, plenty of people flying at night with the LEDs on their planes. Really cool to see that perspective. It's amazing how uh, easy they are to see to, uh, to fly them like that. They light up so well. I haven't had the urge to do this yet. But maybe one day. Here you can see an example of one of the planes, how bright it gets. Pretty much illuminates the entire airframe. There's the old uh, Milky Way Galaxy. Not, not a picture taken by me, but uh, someone else at the campground. The Andromeda Galaxy visible. Pretty cool. So this is the next morning. I uh, can see the frost on everything. I think it got down into the low 40s. A little chilly, but I loved it. And as usual, the, a lot of fog in the valley it burns off once the sun comes out. But nice and quiet. Has a really nice feel in the morning. And people up early flying. Don't get too many jerks that fly loud planes. I think there is a rule, but um, every once in a while someone will push the limit on that rule. Today was pretty good. Yeah, just open flying. Anyone who wants to fly can fly as long as you have a AMA membership and signed up to fly. Here's a really cool ornithopter. I think I got a video of this last year. I don't know if it was the same exact one, but very cool to see, especially early in the morning.
And there's the sun starting to rise above the uh, little mountain there. And some guy uh, just flying some 3D, I believe. Another slow flyer here coming into land. And in the background there, you could see a plane taking off the little pond, water plane. And uh, here's just some random pictures. I'll let you enjoy uh, all the variety of uh, planes they had there. All right, here is the mass warbird launch. All these guys launch one by one. Sped it up here so it doesn't take as long. Usually uh, some excitement during these launches where the plane won't fly and it'll go right into the ground. That's always fun. But I think most of them did okay here. You can see a few on the ground there. And here is the noontime demo. A bunch of really good pilots put on some uh, demonstrations around noon. High-end planes. Now today was really windy. Actually a few of these pilots cut their flight short because it was so windy. Full-scale PL-47 had great performance, but I don't think it was that good. So yeah, P-47. Says they didn't like my P-51. And the guy that got his P-51s first and got a P-47. It's amazing how real they sound. Just being slightly bigger and more powerful. The uh, sound approach is that of a real plane. Some aerobatic plane with uh, smoke system. Just caught the end of it. Guy flying it was really nice. I was talking to him about another plane he had, a beautiful biplane. It's a red one. There's pictures of it, uh, I think, later.
GB. This thing was beautiful. And some more random planes for your enjoyment. There's that biplane I was mentioned earlier. Really beautiful. All carbon fiber, lightweight. Nope, couldn't fit that in the Miata, unfortunately. Cool uh, little teardrop. The shower next to it. Nice low frill set up there with the motorcycle. A nice old tow behind next to a brand new futuristic pop up tow behind. The usual nice scenery. walk over to the, uh, the water east branch of the Delaware River. So uh, yeah, this feeds into the Delaware. Just super clear water, except for the algae and the stagnant part, but still uh, crystal clear. So packed up. Not much spare room and ready to hit the road to get home. So yeah, weather was great the whole time. Perfect event. Looking forward to next year. So leaving Peaceful Valley and on the way back to Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoyed pictures and the videos. Thanks for watching.